report card is in. The annual Bay Barometer Report breaks down the health of the Chesapeake Bay. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Harris. And I'm Laura Queso. Overall, the bay has been steadily improving, but there's always room to do better. Sit on your side, Maria Elena Valores joins us live to break down the report. Maria Elena. Well, Stephanie, Laura, it really is a beautiful day to be out here on the Chesapeake Bay. We know it made, makes up a huge part of our ecosystem and the landscape here in Hampton Roads. That is why we are in Norfolk and Drone 10 is showing you live from Virginia Beach, just part of the bay here. It's actually just part of the bay in general. The bay is more than 500 miles. It stretches from New York all the way down here to Hampton Roads. The good news is this year it says sounds like things are looking pretty good. More than 21,000 square miles of Virginia sit within the Chesapeake Bay watershed. This year's Bay Barometer from the Chesapeake Bay program shows improvement in some areas and the need for work in others. Water is a key component of where we live in Hampton Roads, um, and the quality of the water in the Chesapeake Bay is, is really um, uh, paramount to the future of our area. We spoke with Norfolk City Councilwoman Andrea McClellan, who sits on the local advisory committee for the program. It's a, a huge component of who we are. Obviously, so much of our coastline is along the Chesapeake Bay. She says oyster restoration is going well. The Lafayette River is at its target goal. This year also marks the highest water quality score since monitoring started more than 30 years ago. But there are areas that need to improve, like toxic contaminants getting into our water. Because we live on the Chesapeake Bay watershed, we really need to be cognizant about all those sorts of things. Um, you know, not littering, picking up after your dog, uh, reducing your use of pesticides or fertilizer. And for the first year, the Bay Barometer looked looked at climate change and its effects on the watershed. So we're looking at um, uh, everything from the standpoint of the temperature of the waters to rising sea levels. How does that affect things? The other piece of good news, you can get involved. We all can each make our small difference, but added together is a pretty large difference for the Chesapeake Bay. Making next year's report even better. McClellan says moving forward, the city of Norfolk is looking at doing projects that serve multiple functions like both stormwater reduction and cleaning up the waters. If you would like to read that full report, we'll have it over on wavy.com. In Ocean View, I'm Maria Elena Valores, 10 on your side.